Okay, wireless security. Unfortunately, wireless security is a very easy thing to overlook. And the reason it's so easy to overlook is because it's kind of a pain to set up. So the goal of this lesson is to accelerate your learning curve and show you how easy setting up wireless security can actually be. The reason wireless security is so important is because it is so easy to connect to a wireless network. If your network is not secured, all someone has to do to connect to your wireless network is to go to the wireless utility that they're using on their computer, find it, and go connect. Once they're on your network, they're not only sharing the internet connection, which you pay for, but they're also taking up bandwidth on your internal wireless network. The wireless networks are what we call a shared medium, meaning the more bandwidth one person uses, the less it's left over for everyone else. So not only are they hogging your bandwidth and using your internet connection, if they're really clever and they have the proper tools, they can actually watch your network traffic and see what is going on on your network and on your computers. This is why setting up security on your wireless network is so important. The most important type of security you can set up on your wireless network is encryption. But there are some other easier and less effective things that you can do and let's discuss those first. The first thing you can do is you can hide your SSID. Now what is your SSID? Your SSID is your service set identifier. And all that is is just the name that you give to your wireless network. And you usually do this when you're doing the initial setup on your router. The last thing you want to do is leave your router set with the default SSID provided by your hardware manufacturer. When you do this, you're basically advertising to the world that you have done nothing to set up security on your wireless network. So your SSID needs to be both unique and then you can go from there and choose to whether you want it to be hidden or non-hidden. Now in my opinion, this type of security is kind of lame because if somebody is really trying to hack into your network, a hidden SSID is not going to stop them. Also, it will not hide the presence of your network, it will just hide the name of your network. MAC address filtering. What does MAC address filtering do for you? MAC address filtering is actually a pretty good idea. It's easy to set up and it does take a certain amount of sophistication to crack it. So what is MAC address filtering? MAC address filtering gives you the ability to choose which specific computers are allowed to connect to your network. So you can basically say, okay router, I, I authorize this computer, this computer, and this computer to connect to my wireless network. So how do you identify those computers? You identify those computers with their MAC addresses. So where do you find a computer's MAC address? Pretty simple. Go to start, run, or you can just go to the command shell. But we're going to go to run we're going to type CMD, and it's already in there for us. And we're going to pull up the command prompt. Then we're going to use the IP configuration utility. And this basically gives us a breakdown of all the network settings on our computer. So we go IP, CONF, IG, forward space, all. All basically tells it to give us all your information. Hit enter and we'll get into what all this stuff means later but for now what we're concerned about is our wireless network connection and its physical address this right here this is our MAC address basically just a hexadecimal number which you can enter into a utility on your wireless router many of these utilities will have this already for you so it's a really simple thing to do so once you have all these MAC addresses typed in you basically say okay I authorize this computer to associate with my wireless router. The first thing the wireless router will do when somebody tries to connect to it is to check its MAC address against its table of MAC addresses. If there's a match, it'll allow a connection. If there's not, no connection will happen. There are certain tools that hackers can use to spoof the MAC address on their computer and fool your router into believing they have a computer that belongs on your network. But you're not going to find a lot of people like that. Okay, encryption. 
Encryption is the most secure form of security you can place on your wireless network. It's also the most difficult to set up. At least that used to be the case before wireless protected setup and USB, actually this should be WCN and Wireless Connect Now technology was introduced. Wireless Connect Now is a utility that comes with Windows which allows you to copy the settings that you have set up on one computer to a USB device and then in order to transfer those settings to another computer simply walk that USB device over to the other computer and use one mouse click to say yes I want this computer to be set up on that same network as well.